there's something in my eye we arrived at around 10 we ended up getting in and settled into our place right around noon and then we just walked towards Dotomburi I stopped at Big Camera and picked up some film which I'm excited to shoot tomorrow I don't think I'm gonna shoot any today then we went home and <laughs> took a nap because uh, I was up at 4 I think my boyfriend woke up at 4 as well um, he's a little bit closer to the airport than I am but still earlier than any of us would have liked but yeah I'm excited I have no idea what we're gonna do uh, tomorrow we're kind of just playing it by ear and yeah let's go get some dinner we have no idea we're thinking either sushi or okonomiyaki but uh who knows let's see let's go let's go Good morning, we are out and about searching for a bakery and then we're gonna go to Osaka Castle and explore some cool neighborhoods but I'm about to be hit by a car. Let's go. <laughs> So we're not going in because the line was forever, but now we're gonna go hunt for lunch. Nakazaki-cho and it is just all little alleys filled with eateries and cafes and art stores. It is so cute. Look at this cafe. The weather is perfect and uh, we're just walking around. There are gonna be bikes. My boyfriend's really cranky because we want he wants to rent a bike but my hip is really hurting me today so I said we should do it tomorrow. And so I'm dragging him to stores so he's like extra pouting. But let's go get him and continue to torture him. Ice coffee
eating okonomiyaki. Dead. We're and not I'm, dead. I'm so red from sitting next to the grill and so now we're gonna just wander and I bought some film specifically for taking night photos here so I'm really excited let's go so my boyfriend wanted to get something like another snack so he went and bought something at one of those vending machine things and then when he got his ticket there was a line so I said hey I'm gonna run and take a photo I'll be right back by the time I got back he was inside and they didn't have any seats left for me so now I am just wandering around until he finishes his ramen which is fine because he hates waiting for me to take photos it's like his least favorite thing in the world so now it is just me and my camera he got his ramen we're both happy it's okay all right, let's go. <laughs> so it gets a good review from you? It's really good, actually. Worth not being with me for like 10 minutes? Yeah. Your absence was um, happily accepted. <laughs> Thanks. change of plans so my boyfriend really wants to ride his bike but my leg is still kind of bothering me so I have some things that I want to do and we're gonna set him free he really likes to explore on his own so he's gonna go off on a bike I'm walking around America Mura which is like America town and it's filled with a lot of thrift stores and just really cool things so I'm just kind of strolling there is a tea house I want to visit if I can let's just see what we get up to let's go One thing I'll never get sick of in Japan and Korea is places will play music that is just so inappropriate, but it is like such a bump and track. So just like tune out the lyrics whenever you're in Korea. So we just ate our weight in a lot of things uh, at Dosombori. Dosombori. Um, but we have decided since it's gonna rain really hard all day tomorrow We're not going to go to Kyoto, which is okay. So that is the plan. We will see you there. Goodbye Don't know why There's no sun up in the sky Stormy weather Since my man and I ain't together It keeps raining all is bare, gloom and misery everywhere, stormy weather, I just can't get my poor old self together, keeps raining all the time, when you went away, 
The blues walked in and met me If he stays away, all the rocking chairs will get me All I do is pray that the Lord above will let me Walk in the sun once more Oh no, I can get my poor old self together So I am back from Osaka. Thank you for joining me. The last day, it was a little bit hard to film because it was pouring rain. It was actually on the news how bad it was in Kyoto. So I'm really glad that we didn't go. There was also some weird accident on the Shinkansen, like not serious, but regardless, uh, it was good that we just stayed in Osaka. We were both really tired and it was just a really calming day. Uh, we went to this tea house that I really wanted to go to. It's called Wad Omotenashi and it's a pottery studio and tea house and we went there and it was just absolutely beautiful the tea was rather expensive but uh, it was kind of for good reason I suppose and it was just absolutely beautiful so calming just so lovely everything was served to you in uh, things that they have made and the owner actually specializes in the type of Japanese pottery that is when something gets cracked and they fill it with something usually like gold or a certain color I actually started talking to the woman who was working there because I bought some tea for my friend who um, works at matcha cha so I bought her some tea and I was like talking to this lady she was so funny because she was explaining to me like this certain tea that I bought is organic and the farmer has two goats and that's how he like gets rid of the bugs and then also like fertilizes it with like the goats droppings and it was just so funny to like be in the middle of Osaka talking to a complete stranger about goat poop over tea like it, it was just like it's just one of those nice moments um and then we decided to just walk around and we ended up at goryo shrine which was really nice because it started to pour at that moment and we just kind of stayed in the shrine and we were able to just um watch it from the safety of the the roof so yeah overall wonderful trip um i wish i could have showed you kyoto i wish we could have gone but just didn't work this time i am sure i will be back soon and that is all thank you as always for joining me hope you enjoyed and uh there's so many motorcycles ruining my outro okay i will see you guys next time bye <laughs>